Hey, Edson, Mayor Kevin Zahara here with uh, another COVID-19 update on this beautiful Tuesday evening. I originally uh, recorded this outside today, but unfortunately a little bit too windy, so the sound quality wasn't uh, that good. So uh, unfortunately I had to move inside today, but I uh, did want to give you an update today because some big news came down for the province of Alberta. Some great news actually from Premier Jason Kenney and Dr. Dina Hinshaw on the relaunch of Alberta. Stage two uh, scheduled to begin on Friday and uh, some very unexpected news today left us a bit scrambling this afternoon was that a number of items that were originally in stage three have jumped ahead into stage two and that is largely because we have much lower levels of infections than was originally anticipated. We have low ICU rates, low hospitalization rates, and low number of cases within the province of Alberta. So uh, they are actually moving up the schedule uh, a little bit more quicker than uh, was originally planned. Uh, so certainly good news, but we shouldn't be complacent. We have to continue to adhere to the guidelines to ensure that we don't fall back and uh, ensure that we can continue to move forward on the reopening. Now, some of the things that uh, restrictions are being lifted on Friday for include K-12 schools for diploma exams, only and for summer schools with proper guidance. So uh, certainly good news for students that are looking to write their diplomas. Uh, more surgeries are gonna start to begin. We also see community halls that are gonna be able to reopen, movie theaters, uh, wellness services like uh, acupuncture, reflexology, personal services like aesthetics and cosmic skin and body treatments uh, able to reopen starting on Friday. Sports teams uh, are gonna be able to uh, start to play once again. Uh, we also see pools, uh, leisure centers, arenas that'll be able to reopen, spray parks that'll be able to reopen. Um, but a lot of those details are still uh, forthcoming on how they're supposed to reopen, what kind of restrictions are gonna be in place and what kind of uh, protocols have to be followed. And the town of Edson is currently reviewing all that. The emergency coordination center met all afternoon and be returning to uh, meetings tomorrow morning to discuss all of that and uh, looking at how we can reopen uh, with these easing of restrictions. Um, so a couple of things I want to point out uh, here today. Uh, just because the relaunch for stage two starts on Friday does not mean these places are going to start reopening on Friday. Planning has to go into effect. Uh, staffing, for example, has to be looked at. Uh, so even though that there are restrictions that are being eased, it does not mean things are going to just automatically reopen on Friday. Uh, when it comes to town of Edson facilities, I've had a lot of inquiries about the spray park, for example. We have to look at what kind of restrictions are in place. For example, physically distancing. Uh, when you look at the spray park, we have huge gatherings there in the summertime. So how do you manage that? Uh, and how can you do so safely? So uh, the Emergency Coordination Center is discussing that and uh, we'll have details announced uh, as plans are put into place. We also have to look at the financial impact. So places like the Leisure Center, uh, what kind of restrictions are gonna be placed? What is the usage gonna be like? Uh, we have already very low cost recovery. We're only recouping about uh, 35% or under actually 35% of the costs uh, at the Leisure Center for the entire year. Um, so if you don't have people using the facility and you're not able to generate that revenue, is it phys fiscally prudent to uh, reopen? That's something we have to look at. We also have, of course, the emergency budget the council passed uh, in order to save $1.8 million this year that anticipated the Leisure Center being closed until the end of the year. At the time, we didn't know what uh, things were going to look like uh, with the easing restrictions. Now we're going to have to look at reinstituting some money if we do reopen. Uh, once again, those are decisions that have to be made. Uh, the Emergency Management Advisory Committee, which is comprised all of council, will be meeting uh, in the next while to uh, determine whether or not uh, uh, we're going to be able to reopen, when that's going to happen, and how that's going to look like uh, and, and look at uh, what administration is proposing for strategies uh, regarding that. So uh, with all that said, I just want to uh, let you know that's what we're working on right now. Uh, Council had strategic planning last week. We already were discussing how we're going to reopen. Uh, obviously, today's announcement came uh, a bit of a surprise. We didn't expect that to happen so soon. Uh, so we're going to review all that and plans we put in place to ensure that we are doing uh, any reopening uh, safe, safely, uh, that making sure that we're being uh, following the protocols that are in place and making sure we're being financially prudent when we do so as well. Uh, so I'm asking you uh, to be patient while we work through this. Uh, we also have to, if we are going to be reopening, have to recall staff. We are on limited staff right now. 
uh, with uh, the Leisure Centre staff now working in parks uh, as we have no summer students in parks. Um, so what all that's going to look like and it's going to take us some time to uh, uh, work on that as well. Uh, it's going to take time to rebalance things like the pool. That takes a couple weeks. Uh, putting ice in takes some time. Uh, so just stay tuned, be patient, and we'll have more details on that uh, in hopefully uh, late next week uh, or the following week on what that reopening is going to look like. Now, when it comes to the spray park, it will not be reopened on Friday. Uh, we're just not at that point yet. We have to make sure we're following all the protocols in place, but we will announce details as we have them. Uh, same thing for places like uh, Vision Park. Um, with that said, we have to ensure that uh, we are not being complacent. Uh, so make sure you're continuing to wash your hands regularly, uh, making sure that you're physically distancing and making sure that uh, you are following those protocols uh, and not going outside and around town if you are feeling unwell. Really make sure you stay home if you are not feeling unwell. Uh, some of the other restrictions that are being lifted, uh, maximum of 50 people for indoor social gatherings for things like weddings and funeral receptions and birthday parties. A maximum of 100 people for outdoor events and indoor seated audience events, including weddings and funeral ceremonies. Uh, there is no cap uh, starting on Friday when it comes to worship gatherings for restaurants, cafes, lounges, and bars. Certainly good news uh, for that. Uh, no uh, caps for casinos or bingo halls either. Um, there's also more flexibility. So if you are uh, having people over to your home, you can have up to a maximum of 15 people. And uh, sports teams can play uh, in region-only cohorts of up to 50 players. All these details and information are available on alberta.ca and on the COVID-19 website. You can also go to edson.ca uh, for links to that as well. Uh, Edson, that's my update for now. As I said, we're going to have more details announced as they become available as we put plans in place. So just uh, be patient while we do that. And uh, we'll uh, have another update for you coming up next week.